Hey, hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another product feedback video. Today we'll be actually explaining what APU means, or APU as I like to call it, as well as reviewing an AMD A8 processor, but let's get straight into it. Many of you guys know the concept of CPU, Central Processing Unit. Well, an APU takes that and accelerates it. So it actually stands for Accelerated Processing Unit. And the reason why I bring this up is that there's a lot of processors now out on the market that are targeted as APUs, especially the ones coming from AMD. And what they do is on that one little chip that the CPU resides on, they've actually improved it by adding a graphics component to it. Now, what does this mean? Well, things for like flash content, video editing, photos, anything to do with graphics, so even games, um, provides a big benefit in terms of performance but also value for money. Because this AMD A8 processor, which I'm looking at in a sec, is actually worth, retails for about 119 bucks. I've seen it on the net in Australia for sale for around the sort of $90 price point. So it's very cheap and that actually has a graphics card in there. So technically you could really build yourself a little custom computer for 300-ish, $400 max really, to get something quite good for your money. And this AMD APU actually means you don't have to buy a graphics card. But how well does it compare? Well, the easiest comparable processor to the AMD A8 is actually the Intel Core i3 range. Now the i3 actually costs around the sort of $140, $150 mark. So technically it's worth actually about 70% more for the Intel version, but the AMD offers quite a good uh, value for money. And the reason why AMD can do this is they actually bought Radeon or ATI, you might've heard of them from a little while ago, so AMD owns that company now, and they can use their technology into the development of these processors. So it's a very interesting concept and definitely a way that a lot of uh, computers are going towards. And I've uh, built a little system up that I actually allowed my dad to test out and wanted to see the performance of the system. So I'll get into that review right now. And just before I do that, real quick, I am entering a CES competition. There's a link in the description. I'd really appreciate if you guys can vote for me because it will allow me to travel over to Las Vegas, hopefully, and report and bring you content from over there. And let's get into this. The APU that we will be reviewing is the AMD A83870K. The K stands for Unlocked for Overclockability. It is a 3 GHz quad-core APU with AMD Radeon HD 6550 graphics. The test system includes the Gigabyte GZ-A75MS2V motherboard with 8GB of G-Skill memory and a 64GB SSD for the main drive. I tested the system with Windows 7 as it allowed me to notice any differences between this and the, my more powerful desktop PC. Putting benchmarks aside for now, the system worked very well. The computer easily handled multiple programs open at the same time while running YouTube videos and writing up emails. It is quite a potent little machine for the money. I think if someone wants to build a home theater PC, this will do quite nicely. I also was playing StarCraft 2 with the resolution set at 1680 by 1050 with normal graphics and easily managed over 30 FPS. Benchmarks are a bit useless if you have nothing to reference them with, so I did a bit of research and I came across the benchmarks from BitTech, who compiled a list of different, pro different processes and how they performed under the same circumstances. Looking at the specific advantages of the APU, we can see in games such as Call of Duty Black Ops, the APU manages an average of 40 FPS, which is easily playable, while a more expensive Intel alternative only managed 14 FPS. The scenario remains the same for Left 4 Dead 2, with the AMD APU outstripping its rival significantly. So what does this tell us? If you're building a budget PC for the occasional light gaming or home theater PC, clearly the AMD APU is a no-brainer. It's cheaper, more powerful, and clearly shows that this is a new AMD APU technology, and it is definitely a threat to Intel. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to check out all my other videos. This has been Muhammad, and peace be with you.